In this video, I'm going to show you why this is the glitchiest and most toxic offensive scheme in Madden. Now, if you want to win more Madden games, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the best Madden strategy content on YouTube. Today, I'm not going to give you a boring old scheme that you have to be in a specific playbook to run, but rather a game-breaking glitch that you can use in almost any offense. But I will still show you four different offensive schemes that utilize this glitch in the best possible way. And make sure to stay until the end of the video because the last two offenses are completely broken. Now this overpowered glitch is called the Red Route Glitch. To run this glitch, you must first select a play that falls under the screen pass category in the play call menu. So first, go to by concept by pressing the right bumper twice, scrolling down until you reach screen pass, and then selecting a play in the bubble screen or FLSE screen categories that is not an RPO or regular pass play and has a receiver blocking. If I were in the Steelers playbook, I would select either the play wide receiver screens or Steelers halfback screen in the gun empty Steeler formation. Once you've called one of these illegible plays, all you need to do is roll out and the whole defense besides the deep zones will blitz at your quarterback, allowing you to throw a very wide open route for a huge game. So all you need to do once again is roll out and the entire defense will blitz at your quarterback. Now wait, I actually have even more for you to make this already stupendously broken glitch 10 times better, but I have to give you guys a very quick lesson in rollout offense because it's pivotal for this entire video. To roll out on any four defensive linemen set, you need to pay close attention to the defensive tackles on the side you're gonna roll out to. So if I'm rolling up right, I'm gonna look at the right side defensive tackle, which is Chris Jones. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm going to double team the defensive end because Chris Jones is in the A gap. If he's in the B gap, the setup is a little bit different. So as you can see, once again, Chris Jones is between the center and the right guard. So that means we're gonna have to double team the defensive end, which is George Karloftis on the right side of the field. To do this, I'm gonna press the left bumper down on the right stick, and then I'm just gonna move my left stick until I reach the player I wanna double team, and then press X or A if you're on Xbox. Then snap the ball, roll out, and then just throw your corner out wide open for an easy dot. However, if they were to shift their defensive line, let's say to the left, what you're gonna wanna do is ensure that your defensive line is, or sorry, your offensive line is kind of ignoring George Karlaftis, so he ends up in a one-on-one -on -one with the tackle. So in this case, because the defensive tackle's in the B gap, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but double team the defensive tackle. Then in this case, he'll get in a one-on-one, -on -one, and then you're very easily able to throw this rollout corner for an easy dot. To roll out on any three defensive linemen set like dollar or three, four odd, whatever it may be like that, all you're gonna do is you're going to double team the defensive end on the side you're gonna roll out to. Snap the ball and what you will see is that he gets picked up and you're able to throw your corner out for a wide open dot every single time. Now what if I also told you that you can make unlimited hot routes on those screen plays, but to show you that I have to hop in game because this technique doesn't work in practice mode. So to do this, all we're going to do is quickly make a hot route while we're walking to the line. However, the first player you hot route must be the red route on the field. So in this case, I hot routed my square receiver MVS and I didn't hot route the circle receiver. And what will happen is now, because I didn't hot route that circle receiver, I can't make any more hot routes. You can see I'm spamming the triangle button to try to make more hot routes and I'm not able to. I'm only able to snap the ball. So make sure that the first player you hot route is the player who's on the red route on the field. So in this particular play wide receiver screens, that is the player on the smoke screen. So if we hot route the red routed player, once we get to the line, you will see that you can hot route any other player on the field. It is also important to mention that if you want the team to still blitz, you must leave at least one wide receiver blocking. In this case, all wide receivers are on routes, so the glitch will no longer work. If you follow all of these steps, you will fully understand how the glitch works 
and you'll be able to roll out and have entire route concepts on the field, leading for easy, huge gains. I'd also like to mention that the Hot Rail Master ability is really important for making all of these glitches work. So if you're playing regular teams, I would recommend using the Chiefs because of Patrick Mahomes, and in Mutt, you can very easily get any Hot Rail Master player. Now I'm going to show you the first offense that best utilizes this glitch, and that's Empty Steeler in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. For all setups, we call wide receiver screens, and in our first setup, I like to roll out to the left to throw the short corner out on the play. To set this up, all I'm going to do is streak the outside receiver on the left side of the field, then set up our rollout according to our rollout guide in the beginning of the video, then roll out and throw our wide open short corner out. If the corner out is being usered, do not be afraid to throw the wide receiver screen cross body because this can often lead to big gains. For the second setup, I like to attack the defense on the right side of the field with a deep corner out. To set this up, I will first streak the outside receiver on the trip side, then corner route the inside most trips wide receiver by using the hot route master ability, then finally putting a drag route on the inside most receiver on the two wide receiver side so the final route combo looks like this. Then we set up our rollout and throw our deep wide open corner route versus every coverage in the game. This next offense is why trips offset weak in the spread playbook. The play in this formation is called motion halfback swing, and we're going to be creating an insane double corner concept targeting either the tight end or slot receiver corner routes. To set this up, all you need to do is block your halfback, corner your tight end, corner the slot receiver, and streak the outside receiver. Then all you need to do is roll out and pick a corner route to throw to. For the second setup, I like to attack the defense with a post route. To set this up, I will first block the halfback, streak my solo receiver, post the tight end, and then drag the slot receiver. Then we set up our rollout and throw a wide open post route or drag route if it is being usered. If you're enjoying this video so far, you should definitely check out my exclusive content on victoryformation.gg. Currently, we have my entire Steelers tight doubles and single back wing stack offense, which is in the same playbook as the empty Steeler glitch, and Sean spread offense, which is in the same playbook as the wide trips offset weak glitch which will help you create a full offense around these plays that I've just showed you. Not only that, but we have over 70 tips in the laboratory, and just three of these tips in the lab showcase the easiest way to beat man coverage, the best way to run the ball, and the best disengaged defense in Madden 24. Unlock everything for only $9.95, and take an additional 15% off with code SWOLO. This next offense is arguably the best offense that you can use this glitch out of, and that's because it's the only under center offense with a wide receiver screen. The formation is single back wide trips in the run balanced and run heavy playbooks. The first setup for the wide receiver screen in this formation has us rolling out to the trip side to throw a wide open tight end corner route. To set this up, all you need to do is streak your outside receiver on the trip side, corner your tight end, and put an in route on your halfback. Then all you need to do is throw your tight end corner route. If the tight end corner route is being usered, you can also very easily throw the halfback in route. The next setup is to drag the trip side wide receiver outside receiver, drag your tight end and C route your solo receiver. Then we roll out left and throw our wide open C route. This next offense is definitely the most practical of any offense I've showed you that you can use the glitch out of, and that's trips tight end in the run and gun playbook. The play we're going to select is wide receiver screen, and in the first and only setup necessary, we're just going to pick a side to roll out to and throw that side's corresponding corner out. To set this up, all you need to do is streak your trip side outside receiver, corner out your inside most trips receiver, curl your halfback and corner your tight end, then roll out and throw the wide receiver corner out. What's so great about this play is you can also throw the tight end corner out as well. And if you're being heavy blitzed or they prevent your rollout, your halfback should be wide open on the curl. Now that you've finished this video, you're well on your way to winning more Madden games using this glitch. And if you're interested in a full offensive breakdown, breaking down empty Steeler and trips tight end, as well as the other formations in Steeler's playbook, you should definitely check out this video right here.